Hey guys, JJ here, and today I'm going to be discussing the status on the Resident Evil 7 Not A Hero DLC and what we know so far, including leaks. Just want to warn you guys, heavy Resident Evil 7 spoilers ahead, so if you haven't beat it yet, go do so and then come back to this video. Alright, let's get right into it. Resident Evil 7, released on January 24th, with a promise of at least 7 DLC drops in 2017. The DLC kicked off with the banned footage volumes 1 and 2. Both were received moderately positive reviews, but fans wanted something more. Also, the main campaign left players with a huge question to be answered. Spoiler alert, who was the mysterious Redfield that rescues Ethan at the end of the story, and why was he riding in an umbrella helicopter? Capcom announced that those questions would be answered in the free Not A Hero DLC that was planned for release in spring of 2017. After several months of waiting, Capcom released a statement that they were unsatisfied with the current build of the Not A Hero DLC. They would be postponing the release until the fall of 2017. Well, it's now August, and we have not heard anything about the release date. Fans are left wondering. Where are those promised answers? Some information has shown up on the internet though. Several months ago, a posting by Reddit user Gaspin Payne gave details that were data mined from the Not A Hero DLC. First, the data seemed to confirm that the protagonist of the Not A Hero DLC would indeed be Chris Redfield. This answered the big question of who, but not why. The data showed the general story layout of the DLC campaign, as well as the antagonist. It seemed Chris would be in pursuit of the Baker's son Lucas, another open-ended story from the main campaign. Chris was also tasked with collecting research information and would be facing off against the new white molded enemy. The DLC would be action focused with a point upgrade system to improve Chris's abilities and stats. Weapon selection was limited and health was managed by steroid injections, which is about right for Chris. But since Capcom delayed this DLC due to quality concerns, how much information still holds up? Recently, a NeoGAF forum user, Dust Gollum, posted with updates about the Not A Hero DLC. Dust Gollum stated that the DLC will indeed pick up where the main campaign left off, and it will give us a true ending to the story. He also notes that the Not A Hero DLC will most likely remain action focused, and will feature Chris Redfield and Lucas Baker. No information was provided about a hard release date, but it is expected to release towards the end of 2017 and around the same time as the final paid DLC. As for the final paid DLC, all that was said is that it will have a strong emphasis on horror, and the director of the DLC was the lead designer of the Silent Hills PT. It will most likely be set in a completely different location as well. If the DLCs are pushed back to the end of 2017, would it be possible to see a teaser or receive an official date at the Tokyo Game Show taking place on September 21st through the 24th? Maybe. Also, it's been 7 months since the release of Resident Evil 7. Has the desire for the DLC died off? Can Capcom recapture the fan base that moved on? What are your thoughts on this? Are you still interested in the DLC? What do you think of the leaked information or the direction of the DLC? Let us know down in the comments. This video was written by Ali and read by me. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And for more Resident Evil 7 news, discussions, live streams, giveaways, and the Residents of Evil podcast, make sure to subscribe. You can follow the Residents of Evil on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at Row Network. That's R-O-E Network. I'll leave the links down below. The Residents of Evil now has merchandise. You can check out all of our cool shirts, posters, mugs, acrylic blocks, and more. It helps support the Residents of Evil. I'll leave the links down in the description. Thanks as always for watching, and I hope to see you back at the Residents of Evil.